want you to have a better life. I believe as we choose, we can have a better life. The better life that God wants you to have is paid with miracles. This is The Place for Miracles. Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Place for Miracles. I'm Lindsay Roberts, and I get to make a big announcement today. Woohoo! We've got lots of unusual things dealing with expansion, expansion, expansion. But today I get to talk about one of them in particular, and that is the School of Miracles. And if you have a place you can write something down or type something in, go to theschoolofmiracles.org. The School of Miracles. Org. I'm telling you what, it is exciting. Many years ago, it was the dream of Oral Roberts to do a school that was primarily miracles and ministry. And not just for ministers, but for anybody who wants to learn how to pray for your children, pray for the sick, how to be effective in studying the Word of God for yourself in a way perhaps different than you've ever known before. So he had a lot of archived material. Now, when I say a lot of archived material, I'm saying volumes and volumes and volumes of wonderful archived material. Oral Roberts, Evelyn Roberts, Richard Roberts, even me, Lindsay Roberts, we've got all kinds of things to make available. Well, we have started to put it together and we've done a lot in a school before, but this is different. We have spent, I would say, the entire last year pulling out archive materials, getting things together, getting this ready for you. And I believe it will be a tremendous teaching tool. Now I'm gonna say it Lindsay's way. As we're looking and approaching the end times, as we're looking and approaching things we don't understand. In fact, just before this program started, I was having, a, a, I'm, going to, I'm going to say a very unusual discussion about just things that we're seeing in the earth, things we're seeing on television, things we're seeing on the news, things we're seeing you know, in commercials, just the way the world is, I'm going to say maybe shifting as the world is shifting, maybe closer and closer to the book of Revelation, then we as Christians need to have more opportunity to study the Word of God, live the Word of God, live by faith, and not be moved by what we see, but be moved by what God said. So I believe this will be a tremendous group of tools. It's not just a tool, it's a toolbox full of all kinds of teaching. So Richard is going to be here in just a minute. He's coming with Dr. Jeff Ogle. They're going to talk about it. Keep in mind the school of miracles.org. If ever there was a time to not expand in my life, this is a nice time for me to go put my feet up and say, slow down, Lindsay. But the truth of the matter is as the world is moving quicker and quicker, we have to move along with it, with the Word of God and with teaching and lots of materials from the past, from the current, and who knows for the future. So I believe it will be a blessing to you, richardroberts.org. Stay tuned. Richard and Jeff are going to be talking to you all about it. You say, Richard, what's the School of Miracles? It's an online premium subscription service to help you get closer to God than you've ever been in your life. I've been teaching these classes now for a number of years, and they're timeless. No time limit on them. And one example is, a few years ago, uh, there was a man over in a Scandinavian country who was watching online. Now, he's thousands of miles away. He needed healing. And he was watching a video that I had done several years earlier. There was uh, this uh, session also called The Announcing of the Holy Spirit. This was the first, first uh, teaching I was uh, looking at, and uh, in part two, we uh, think about 10 minutes and 50 seconds, uh, he just stopped and looked into the camera and said that someone has been huge uh, complaining in his right hip. There's someone else online watching, you have a problem with your hip. Now that this person could also be here. Uh, you have a problem with your right hip and you're being healed right now in Jesus' name. If that's you, make contact with us. This word was for me. And I was surprised, I was surprised, I was surprised, but I was healed. Yes, I was healed. Those kind of things happen all the time. And that's because there's no distance in prayer. And I'll teach you these kind of things. And I'm 
expecting these kind of things to happen in these classes. Just simply go to theschoolofmiracles.org. You can enroll today. I'm with Dr. Jeff Ogle, who is the dean of the Richard Roberts School of Miracles that's available right now with tremendous programs, almost 200 hours of, uh, of special classes and courses for you. And I want Dr. Ogle to explain this to you because it's very simple. Some people are kind of concerned about, well, how can I do this online? Well, if I can figure it out, I think anybody can figure it out. By the way, somebody who's watching right now, you have a, you have a word of knowledge. I'm having a word of knowledge about someone's knee. You, you noticed you noticed earlier, you saw that uh, little spot about uh, Arj over in uh, Denmark. He was watching. Right. He was watching a class which I videoed two years ago. Right. And received healing in the middle of the class. So it turns out to be a healing a healing session in the middle of the session. Yeah. But did. anyway, Doctor Ogle, uh, this is the landing page. Can you kind of walk us through what is available for you? Yeah. So up here at the top, you can see there's options for you to click on to learn more about the website mm -hmm. and various products. Let's go to all products. All the courses. Yeah. And here we go. All right. Well, you've got, you got, you're starting with the different courses that we have. Here, here you have the journey through the Bible. So this course, Journey Through the Bible, is based on your dad's uh, sermon, Christ in Every Book of the Bible. Yes, Jesus in Every Book of the Bible. And I took Matthew all the way to Revelation in the New Testament. I took Genesis all the way to Malachi. It took me about nine months to teach this entire course. So it's a journey. It's a, it's a look at all the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. Then you have the book of Matthew. Yes. Which is an entire course. You have the book of Mark, which is an entire course. Can you scroll on up? And then you have the book of Luke, which I, is an entire course. I but remember when you taught that class, the book of Luke <laughs> class is really, really good. Well, that's, that's my favorite book in the Bible. I think I took more time on Luke than any other. And then you have the book of John, right. which deals with the first, or excuse me, the last five months of Jesus' life here on the earth. Then the book of Acts, where you see you see the disciples doing the work of the ministry. And you, you really see Jesus rising up out of the pages. Yeah, in the book of Acts, remember you tell the people at the end, this is so good that, you know, uh, notice that there's no ending to the yeah. book of Acts. Well, there's no logical ending because it's not over. It's not over, <laughs> and that's where we come in. So this one will really be a good class for you. Then to you take. have an entire course uh, on the letters of the apostles. Uh, you have a course on Hebrews and the general epistles. You want right. to share about that? Yeah. So these courses are are really dynamite, especially when you get over to the book of Revelation. So many people want to know what's coming. You know, is this Armageddon? Is the Antichrist alive? It's what not about? gloom and doom. No, 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 no. It's the greatest love story ever written. You don't want to miss this course on the book of Revelation. Yeah, it's really a course about soul winning. You know, here's what's coming. So what should we do? Should we be gripped in fear? No. no. How should we get prepared? We start winning souls to Christ. Now That's scroll on up just a little bit more. And, and you see also there's a course on the Pentateuch. Right. The Pentateuch is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, the first five books of the Bible. Then there's the, the Old Testament historical books. And that deals with First and Second Kings, First and Second uh, Samuel. It deals with, with all those books that, that, are, that show the history of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And then you have the wisdom and poetic books. You've got, you've got uh, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes. You've got the writings of, of King David and his son Solomon. And then you get down into the major prophets. That's where you deal with Elijah, and you deal with I I Isaiah, and you deal with Jeremiah, and you deal with Daniel, and you deal with Ezekiel, and the major, the major, and the minor prophets like Amos and, and the others that are in there. And the and newest brand course, new class. It's a brand new course. I just finished the new course called For the Membership Track. Uh, uh, healing, experience it, live it share it. It's your own personal teaching on healing, how you can be a one person healing team. Now, Richard, this is the class that we shot in the studio. Uh, but this curriculum that you teach in this class is what you've been teaching to underdeveloped nations pastors all over the world. Well, in the past several years, I've taught on healing to almost well, I guess maybe maybe more now, more than 30,000 pastors outside of the United States. And it's transforming their lives and transforming their ministries. It is. You know, we, I can remember when he taught the group in India. Uh, it was amazing to see these precious people, these pastors, men and women, coming in uh, to the classroom uh, to receive Richard's teaching. And uh, at the end of the healing teaching, I remember Richard asked, how many of you regularly pray for the sick? And there wasn't hardly anyone. That's that right. Raised their hardly hands. anyone raised their hand. 
Then after the teaching, he had another question and answer. And this one gentleman raised his hand and stood up and said, you know what? I couldn't raise my hand that I would prayed for the sick and saw miracles before because I didn't know I could. He just didn't know. Well, you may not know it either, but here's a class on the School of Miracles website where you can enroll mm -hmm. in the membership track and you can receive this same teaching that pastors all over the world have been receiving and they are sending in testimony after testimony about what is what God is doing through their lives. Now, also, if you're in the membership track, you get the New Testament commentary by my father, Earl Roberts. Yes. That's the commentary that he did back in the 1980s. It's a, it is a tremendous commentary. Oh, here's the Tent Crusades. Talk uh, about that. Well, you have, the, you have the Tent Crusades. You get that by being a, in the membership track. You get a, a sermon series from not only my dad, but from me, from Lindsay. You get healing scriptures with my dad, Earl Roberts, and me reading them out loud. You get numerous booklets. You get uh, uh, a Make Your Day Count Family Matters a membership. That involves Lindsay and her courses, which also include the Legacy Series, which is a course that she taught. You get the new course on healing, but also I'm just finishing up a course on the Holy Spirit. There are so many people who want more activity of the Holy Spirit in right. their lives. Not only, not only His presence living in you, but also the operation of the gifts of the Spirit. That course will be coming out soon. Yeah, and keep in mind, this is one of the benefits of the membership track. For $20 a month or 18 a month, if you purchase a year at a time, you get access to all kinds of content, including new content like Dr. Roberts' brand new course on the Holy Spirit. Now, as he was saying, there are two tracks. The first is the membership track, and that's only $20 a month. It's even less if you do it for the entire year. And for only $50, the certificate track. Now, that's a real bargain. If you decide, you know, I want to sign up, you just go back up here to the far right, and click sign up, mm -hmm. and it will take you to a screen where you can enter your name, your address, all the contact information, and you click uh, register, and just like that, you're uh, a student in the School of Miracles. Well, you make the decision if you want to be on the membership track or on the certificate track. I believe with all my heart it's going to be a blessing to you and your family. Let me ask you a question. Do you need a miracle in your life? You know, most everyone I know needs a miracle. A miracle in some area, either spiritually or physically or financially or in their family or in some other area of their life. Most everyone I know needs a miracle. And that's one of the reasons why I put together the School of Miracles. It's an online school that you can enroll in. It has lots of classes to teach you how to get into a position to receive miracles in your life. I mean real miracles. Now, I grew up with miracles. I've witnessed miracles all of my life through my father, Earl Roberts' ministry, and through my own ministry. I know that miracles are a way of life if you just reach out and use your faith. And in this school, I teach you how to use your faith and how to get yourself into a position to receive those miracles that you need. So the School of Miracles is now available. It's online and you can enroll and you can learn how to get yourself into a position to receive miracles. Now, once again, let me ask you, what kind of miracle do you need? Is it a spiritual miracle you need? Is it a physical miracle you need? Is it something in your family or is it in your emotions? Is it in your finances? Or is it in your business or in your job or in your ministry? What area of life do you need a miracle in? Well, that's what the School of Miracles is all about. Just simply go to theschoolofmiracles.org. You can enroll today. And I promise you this, I believe you'll be better for it. Well, I hope that was informative. I hope it was a blessing. And honestly, I hope it gets you motivated to go to richardroberts.org. I do believe it will be a blessing. Now, specifically, if you want to go just straight to the School of Miracles, you can do that too. The School of Miracles. Dot org, the school of miracles dot org. Get enrolled, get informed, get all of that wonderful teaching material into your spirit. I believe it will be a blessing to you. And speaking of blessings, one of my greatest blessings in the universe is my daughter, Jordan, all my daughters, but Jordan is coming to sing and I pray it really does bless you. If I 
to the doctor thinking I had strep throat. I kept feeling this strange thing in my throat, kept going, eh, eh, eh. the place where I was working, there was a lot of people in the building with strep throat, found out, wait a minute, that's not strep throat, there's a lump in there, and you know, through a series of go here, go there, I'm not sure, I doubt this is this, but let's just check it out. When the phone call came in, I can tell you where I was standing, I was in my daughter's apartment, I can tell you my knees buckled right out from under me, I went straight down, I hit the floor, I was in a heap and I was crying. I went from thinking I had a sore throat, a tickle in my throat, to I have cancer. Fear jumped on me like I don't even know how to explain. When I lifted my head up, my family was there and they obviously knew something was wrong. They ran and began to pray. I mean that fast. Strength stealer became strength builder because my family spoke the word of God. Now, you may relate to strength stealers. I've had miscarriages, I've had surgeries, I've had people tell me it's impossible for me to do certain things. I've had people tell me I should never be on television. I've had people tell me I should never do this and never do that. And yet, you know what? Here I am. You know, with Gideon, it was impossible. With Moses, parting the Red Sea, hello, how impossible was that? Mary, having the Christ child, how impossible was that? You see, it's not about who you are and what you do and what you think. It's about what does God think of you. Maybe you've got all kinds of issues at home. Maybe you've got issues in your finances. Maybe you've got issues in your physical body. But what has God said? Now, maybe you don't know the Word of God. Maybe your family doesn't know the Word of God. Let me tell you something. The Bible knows the Word of God. I wrote this book for the person who needs to know, yes, you can. Yes, you can. God has made you perhaps stronger than you ever thought you could be. And you know what? I believe with a little bit of a nudge, that's why I wrote the book, to give you a little bit of a nudge, you can discover some things not only about yourself, but about your circumstances or your situations, and perhaps pass that knowledge on to somebody else.
Lindsay, I love it when Jordan sings. I do, she's peaceful. Wherever I go, She's people, peaceful and it brings yeah, peace. Wherever I go, people talk about the anointing that, that is upon her when she sings. Yep, and it's beautiful. So love thank it. you, Jordan, and praise the Lord for that beautiful voice. But you know what? I, I, I really think that in our day and age, in, in this life that we're living, in this current time we're living, anything that we can do like that, that brings in the peace of God, the mm -hmm. spirit of God, the blessing of God. You know, sometimes you just don't want to think, <laughs> that's me, I'm talking personally. Sometimes I just like to hear that worship music. I just like to hear a song about the Lord. I just like to hear the presence of the Lord coming in through music like that. So I pray you enjoyed it. We sure do. I'm also very, very excited about Discover Your True Strength. Mm -hmm. You know, I do a Saturday night phone call, hundreds of people on it at the 10 o'clock central time. And the other night I was doing a, I was doing a sermon out of your book. I, I, I asked permission of Lindsay if I could use one of the chapters on faith and You always fear. has to ask permission. I, well, it's her book. He knew so it anyway. I, so no, I, would, it no I wouldn't do it without your permission, but I did okay. get her permission. But uh, people have been responding how much they were blessed by that. If you have not yet ordered your book, Discover Your True Strength, I urge you to call and get your copy today. This book is terrific. And by the way, okay. someone's got a, a really bad headache. It's it's centered here right on the, on the back right side of your head, head and God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lindsay, you know, uh, oftentimes uh, as we as we teach in the, the school of miracles, uh, miracles literally happen right in the middle of class. God gives words of knowledge right where we're teaching. And what's very interesting, even like other people from overseas that weren't necessarily planning on it, are sending us information, emails, calls, texts, whatever they are, about, hey, I wasn't even paying attention. And, and as that word went out, I just simply received it and things began to happen miraculously. There's an interesting scripture and it's Hebrews 11, 11. Sarah re received strength. Mm -hmm. Sarah received. You know, there's many times when it's oh, one scripture I know that I love, love, love. It says that we can take hold of God's strength. And whenever I read that, when I literally physically get up and take hold of God's strength. And it's my action of taking hold of God's strength. I am picking up my determination. I'm picking up my will and I am taking hold of God's strength. And I think that's Isaiah 27, something like that, 20, Isaiah 27. And it's in the King James Version. But if you look at the, the scripture in Hebrews 11, 11, it's not just getting up and taking hold of God's strength. Sarah just received strength. Sometimes we just have to sit back and receive. Like when Jordan's singing, you can sit back and receive the anointing that's coming on that. When someone's praying for you, when you go to the school of miracles and there's prayers or word of knowledge coming forth, sit back and just receive all that God has for you. It's scriptural. And there are times the Bible says, after having done all the crisis demands, stand therefore. Ever after having done all, stand therefore. There's stuff for us to do. Much, much of the time, there's stuff for us to do. But you know what? There's also that time when, like Sarah, we just receive strength from the Father God. And if that's where you are right now, I pray for God to minister yes. strength to you. And discover your true strength is not about pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and being tough as boot leather. No, it's actually about attaching yourself, attaching yourself to the strength of Almighty God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The joy of the Lord is your strength and be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. So it's all about making the proper connection to the Word of God not to the situation, not to the circumstance, and not even, you know, like I said, mustering up your strength. Somehow I don't muster strength all the time, and there are times when I couldn't muster up a drop of it if I needed to. But like Sarah, that's the time we can receive strength. We can attach ourselves to Father God through His Son Jesus. And that's my prayer for you today, that you attach yourself to Father God through his son Jesus and receive. Maybe it's physical, financial, emotional in your family, in your marriage, in, in relationships. Maybe you don't even know where you need the strength, but I pray for Father God to minister healing and strength to you according to the word of God in Jesus' name. 
Amen. I add my prayers to Lindsay's prayers for the strength of God. You can receive it right now in Jesus' name. Like she said, just, you said, sit back, Lindsay, and receive. I send the healing word of God to you right now in the authority of the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in every area of your life. I speak directly to sickness and disease. I command it to come out I speak to fear and torment and discouragement and depression and anything that has come against you that's unlike God. I rebuke it and I command it to come out in the name of Jesus. And I set my faith with you and I believe God. Listen to those words. I believe God. I believe God for your miracle. Whatever it is that you need, I'm setting my faith. And the Bible says, if two shall agree on earth as concerning anything that they shall ask, it shall be done by my Father in heaven, heaven, in Jesus' name. I agree with that prayer, and I agree with you, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Glad you are joining us today. Uh, don't forget, theschoolofmiracles.org. Lindsay, that uh, spot that Jeff and I did in there, that's a pretty well self-explanation of all that's available. You know, um, Jeff and I were, all of us, our whole team, we happen to have been in Newport Beach um, I, I'm not sure if we had been visiting your dad or how the whole entire scenario came about, but I remember the restaurant we walked out of. I remember the street that we were on, and all of a sudden we began talking about the opportunity to teach the Word of God through the School of Miracles. We didn't exactly have that name, but we kind of sort of <laughs> did. We were right on there, and, and being able to develop all the coursework, being able to take the time to develop one thing after another, notebook after notebook after notebook. Finally, one time, I just took an entire closet in our office, and I just took everything out of the closet, and we put white three-ring binders, those great big fat ones, and we just laid them up line by line by line, and they were like, man, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and we just, it was, it was just one of the most amazing times to immerse yourself in the Word of God. And then Richard teaching it line by line and, mm -hmm. and talking about stories. And, and adding you have about, a series of teaching it yourself. And, and adding to the Word of God and adding to the teaching of what his father did. Believe me, the, the material not only was historic, but it was a lot. And to be able to go through that rich material and then organize it so you can go to the schoolofmiracles.org, I believe will be a <laughs> tremendous blessing. So don't miss your opportunity to do that. And get a copy of Lindsay's book, Discover Your True Strength. I pray and believe it will be a blessing in your life. God bless you. We'll see you next time right here from The Place for Miracles.